What's up guys, Aiden here, Ace on Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. The funny thing about it is I actually started this shot in the same place last week, but uh, I stopped back at my house because this guy and I forgot the cameras this morning, so uh, actually it's not his fault. We were loading up, so take you guys along and uh, we'll go back to the job and I'll show you what's up there, so let's do it. Well, I forgot to record an update when we got to the job. So as you can see, it needs new landscaping, new plants, because they're outdated and the customer wanted new rock and new grass, but we're gonna put a special twist on that grass with AstroTurf. Let's do it. plants an old red three-quarter inch rock is out of the beds old grass and astroturf is installed and the remainder of the plants are laid out in their design of how we would like them let's continue with the project All right guys, we got the new rock installed in this area and we rinsed it off to show the real full and true color of the rock and it is looking real nice. So we're gonna go ahead and continue the rock 
all the way around the other side. Alright guys, as you can see here, I just showed you what the before and the middle stage after we ripped everything out looked like. And coming up here, you'll be able to see what it looked like as we laid out the plants and then what it looked like as the finished product. I think it turned out really good and I'm really proud of this project. Well guys, before we wrap up the video, I wanted to just conclude with a few things I learned from the project. And if I did something like this again, which I know I'll be doing because I already have another one on schedule, I just wanted to give you a couple things I learned, especially with small gated backyards like that. One being, you gotta make sure that your wheelbarrow or transportation to get all your debris out fits through the gate. So for us, our wheelbarrows did fit through the gate, which was nice. Also, if you're using rock, you gotta account for a lot more rock than you need mulch. That was a ton and a half of rock even though it was probably only a yard of mulch. So I think it's one yard of mulch equals about a ton and a half of rock is the way they go with that. So make sure you account for more material than you actually need for the job. And also to make sure you space out your plants so that they have room to grow and get bigger in the space. That's one of the things I've learned over the years because I've had to go back and remove plants later in the years because they were planted too close. Personally, not by me, but other people that have planted them. Other than that, I just wanted to conclude. If you guys have any other questions about the install, it personally was one of my favorites I've done, just making over those small backyards. But if you guys have any other questions, leave them in the box down below. But with that, I'm Aiden from Maison and Landscaping. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.